Hey Indie Game fans, as E3 2018 has wrapped up, I wanted to take a look at the top 5 best indie games revealed at the event. Bear in mind that these will be actual reveals and not new footage of previously announced games, which of course I will take a look at in an upcoming video. Number 5, Morning Star. A farming simulator which seems perfectly normal at the start, the trailer reveals an atypical twist, revealing that it takes place in a post-cyberpunk world where computers are your soil and software are your seeds. As a fan of farming games like Stardew Valley, this certainly has me very curious. Number 4. Rapture Rejects Dear God, every day I strive to be closer to your light. <sighs> I pray that when Judgment Day, that most holiest of days, comes upon us, when you bring all the good people to heaven, that I may live in eternal glory by your side. I have always enjoyed Explosum's dark sense of humour in their webcomic series, so seeing their art style in a video game in 2018 has got me excited. The premise of not being selected during the rapture, and then having to kill everyone to impress the Almighty to let you into heaven, is suitably absurd, which makes this a battle royale game which I may actually get into. Number 3, Overcooked 2. The sequel which I was eagerly anticipating, the announcement of Overcooked 2 is one which I greeted with delight. I enjoyed the first game to a large degree due to the chaotic, fast-paced action and the cooking theme. Local co-op is a must for this in my opinion, and we even got a release date which is very soon. Number 2. Satisfactory A first-person factorial-style game from the makers of Sanctum and Goat Simulator, Satisfactory sports a great name and is capitalizing on the fact that people love conveyor belts, myself included. There's just something about creating an automatic production line and having to tweak it for maximum efficiency, but this game expands upon it by adding vehicles and trains and looks to share the factorial mantle. And number 1, Sable. One of the standout highlights of this E3 has to be Sable, a gorgeously beautiful cel-shaded exploration game. Reactions on Twitter and Reddit have been incredible, citing the beauty of the art style. I too fall in this camp, being a sucker for stunning art, and I'm eager to see more and to explore this world. So this is my list of the top 5 best indie games revealed at E3 2018. Please subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, follow my Steam Curator, and check out the subreddit to keep up with the best indie games, and I will see you in the next video.